Hey guys, it's Sam, and I'm going to be bringing you another sort of partner tutorial in this video. And, um, yeah, so basically I'm going to be showing you how to link your banners so they go to Facebook, Twitter, uh, you get a subscribe button or anything. So you just simply click Twitter and it takes you to Twitter. I'm going to be showing you how to link that link with your YouTube background. And after researching it a bit myself and having found that other people's tutorials aren't very good, I've decided to create my own. So what you want to do first is open up Photoshop and open up your YouTube background that already has a banner created up here, like so. And once you've got that open, you, uh, you want to select just your banner. And to do this, you want to grab the um, rectangular marquee tool which is just under your arrow uh, pointer tool and you want to select your banner um, and YouTube does have restrictions so you can't just go all the way over here you have to stay within this part of the canvas so no further than uh, that bit there let's see no further than there or you won't it just won't work simple as that um, it has to be within that section and yeah so once you've highlighted it out like mine um, you go to edit and copy merged now if the copy merged tool is unavailable to you that's probably because your background has a locked tool so if I was to lock it it's probably locked so if you just double click it or click the unlock tool you should then get edit and copy merged and then if it, unfortunately if anything's past that you're gonna have to re-edit it because you can't map it it has to be within that region so after you've copied the merge uh, you press new and as you can see it's already set you up with the width and the height so you just continue and press ok and that is your banner and what you want to do is click uh, copy, copy here, so edit copy and then press edit paste and it will shove it right in there for you and that is how you do it. So once you've got to that stage you want to, you don't want to do anything else apart from save your image. So go to file and this is very important this bit otherwise it's not going to work at all. You don't use save as but you use save for web and devices. So you click Save for Web and Devices, and you pick PNG 24, not PNG 8, I don't know why that doesn't work, but you have to pick PNG 24, and transparency ticked, interlaced off, convert to S, that's tool ticked, check your settings with mine if anything's wrong or not working for you, um, percent 100 quality view by cubic, whatever that is, and you click Save, and it will tell you where you want to save it. So for this, I'll put desktop tutorial saved. So that's it. You're finished with Photoshop. So you can close that down. Excuse that. <laughs> All right. And then once you've got your background, so you've got your banner, you then want to go to image-maps.com. And I shall put that in the description so you don't have to go searching around for it. Uh, it's a very simple website to use. You simply, once you're on it, you go to Browse and you find your banner, which I put on my desktop. Tutorial.png and you click Start Mapping Your Image. This could take about 20 seconds to 30 seconds, depending on your internet speed. I am uploading at the same time, so my internet's going super slow and yeah, so it's done. Then you have to wait 10 seconds. And then you continue to next step. So once you got to this bit, it doesn't matter what browser you use. I know it says refresh in the page, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I'm using Windows Explorer and it works fine. So if you're using Google Chrome, Windows Explorer, it's all the same. What you want to do is click rectangle and this is where you just simply link what you want so I'll only do a few because obviously I've already got my background sorted but Twitter 
So then what you want to do is grab your Twitter link, which I shall grab open with my super slow internet. Me. So you just copy the URL and you paste it in the link for this map. And if it works, you can click test this link and it should take me to Twitter, which is my page. And it does, I can see it up there. So you just simply click save and you do the same for Facebook. You can click rectangle, put your Facebook link in there and you do every single one that you want to be linked. You can also do custom shapes. I haven't really done this myself, but I think that's it. So now in between that rectangle is, yeah, a link. <laughs> so once you've put a link to every single bit you want done, you click get your code, which is just under rectangle or under finished. You click get your code. And in top, top bars, you should see HTML output, HTML code, and the rest. The one you are interested in clicking on is HTML code. And then you left click or right click, yeah, right click <laughs> and click select all. And you copy it. You go to your YouTube page. You go to channel settings. And if you haven't already, you upload your background here with the banner, well, with the whole background. And you push that to 150, so this appears over. And this is where you put your HTML code from the website. You just delete all that. And then you press paste. And then you click finish. And there you go. You should begin to get uh, a little hand to say click here and it works. So it take me to Social Blade, my partners. Woo! So I hope that was helpful to you. As you can see, I'm uploading a new video here. My Trouble in Terrorist Town episodes are growing and have been highly successful. So I've decided to create another one. So you should go check them out. As you can see, I'm uploading it right now. And if this tutorial was helpful to you, give me a like. I also would appreciate a subscribe if you want to see more of these videos coming soon. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. And goodbye.